Hey guys, I'm Tammy Pultz from Hot Springs, Arkansas at the Pocket Theater here. I just wanted to kind of help other theaters out and show them how we made the Sweeney Todd chair. And, uh, what is this? <laughs> what is this? The trap door. Yeah, the trap door. Okay. Basically, we started this chair with an elderly person's potty chair because it was a metal base and it was wide at the bottom. So um, we started with this, took off all the potty stuff. Um, this was just a chair topper to an old uh, 1960s chair that just kind of happened to fit on levelly. And um, basically what you want to remember when you're building these is it's going to have to withstand a lot of weight and a lot of movement. So we tried a couple of different things and we found out that working uh, with the wood we were having cracks and it just wasn't as strong as we needed it to so um, Abby Fryer and her dad is a welder so and that's what he did for us so I would advise you to kind of find somebody that does that and can do that for you um, here's the base and basically she added the wood first these three wood panels just uh, basically for extra strength and decoration. They really have nothing to do other than hold this on. Um, the metal pieces, you have a right and a left side with extra strength for the brackets. Then basically we, we have the middle piece that rotates back and forth. And it has wheels on it. The wheels help it to be able to uh, dump a person more quietly and uh, it you can see the marks where the wheels have gotten a lot of use. Um, and this is basically an extra stopper. And there's another bar here. We just covered it in this foam to make it a little quieter. is just a stopping brace and this square brace rotates in those round there's round things on that these these are the rounds and then here's your support beam Okay, now we're going to talk about uh, the uh, drop that we did for the hatch. Um, basically, we use a lot of L frames. These are my friend Harvey who helped me build this. That's his favorite little tool. It's basically two two by fours. Then you just zip it together like that. It's very strong. And the one thing about the trap door is it's got to be very strong. It's holding a lot of weight and it's very forceful when it comes down. Um, so this. This one is just a brace and it helps these two by fours to stop once the door is all the way back. This is a brace to stop it. Again, on the bottom, you'll see more L brackets. Just like that. They're placed on the floor, they're drilled into the floor. Our two by fours, we measured all the way up to the length. Then we came back down, we just used these hinges, okay? Um, it's gotta be a sturdy hinge, we broke two or three. Um, this is just extra support on the outsides. This one runs up and down, that one runs long ways. But it's just the L brackets with the hinges connected to the two by fours. All right, once you get your two by fours cut and braced and bracketed, um, when we were pulling it and they were sliding down, it was great, but the force of you when you hit the ground threw you back. So you were rolling this way between the two by fours. So we basically just cut a thin plywood here just to uh, kind of make a little, the slide continuous. This was just added later as an afterthought to keep you from rolling backwards. Um, 
on one of the, the braces here, this is the edge where the trap door is hinged. It's just door hinges, strong brass hinges, screwed into the trap door and into the support beam. Once the person slides down, see this is that braced piece that we put in the center, so it's just kind of like a continuous slide. There's a little bit of difference here, but when your actors have clothes and stuff on, as long as you're, you smooth out all the edges with sandpaper, they shouldn't have any problems. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you have a great show. We loved Sweeney Todd. Break a leg.